Thank you, Father, that you have given us the light shining in this dark world. You've given us faith, Father, that is our victory that overcomes the world. Father, we know that the light that you've put on the inside of us is not to be hidden, Father, but you've given us a light so that others may see and that you may be glorified. So, Father, we purpose in our hearts to shine this light in this dark world. Father, we know that even though we don't see you, you've said, blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. For we know, Lord, your spirit has come to live on the inside of us. And Lord, you said, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. So, Father, we know that we are born of God. Because we know, Father, that you have put your spirit in us that causes us to walk this walk of life looking unto you, Lord Jesus. We put our trust in you, Lord, and we know that you direct our paths. You make our paths straight, Father. We lift up our praises to you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you that you are in this place, Lord. You are in this place and your glory shall be seen upon us. We worship you, Father. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that your healing is here. Healing the hearts of people today. Healing sick bodies. For we know, Lord, the promise you've given us is by your stripes that we are healed. And we stand here, Lord, today as sons and daughters of the Most High. Worshipping you, Lord, in spirit and truth. And let your name be magnified. We thank you for souls, Father. Harvest of souls that are coming into your kingdom. And that, Lord, you will be seen. We pray, Lord, people will be filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit this day. So that they will have a new a fire. They will have a reason to live. But Father, you said your spirit that is in us enables us to be a witness. For we know, Lord, without you we can do nothing. And we look to you, Lord Jesus. Yes. We look to you, Father, running our race of life. Knowing you are our author and our finisher of our faith. You who has begun this good work. You are a God who will always finish it. You finish what you've started in us. We honor you. We magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. What another good day it is to come in the house of the Lord and worship him. The Bible says it is good for brethren to dwell together in unity. We have such a privilege where we can come like this and fellowship with one another and receive the engrafted word of God and praise him. We believe that today you will be strengthened by the word. The Bible says that it's not by our might, it's not by our power, but by his spirit that works in us. So when we receive the word, we are receiving strength. Because the word of God is a lamp to our feet, it's a light to our path and it strengthens our inner man, it strengthens our mind, gives us wisdom and direction to know what to do. Hallelujah. So thank you, Father, for your word that is preached this day. And as we sing these songs to you, Father, we know that your name is glorified. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we welcome all of you joining us online. We're so glad that you've tuned in today and that you are here. And we know that the same Holy Ghost that is ministering to us here in this place is also able to minister to you and comfort your heart. You know, even though we can't see Jesus with our physical eyes, the Bible says that we are blessed because we have not seen him, but we still believe. The blessing of the Lord, the Bible says it makes us rich and adds no sorrow. When you receive Jesus into your life, he's not going to add sorrow. In fact, he's going to do just the opposite. He's going to fill your heart with unspeakable joy. And we pray today that you'll be filled with joy today as, as we minister to the Lord and sing songs of praise. And join us and praise along with us. Hallelujah. Let's sing this and say, Thank you, Father. You've filled me with unspeakable joy. Even though we don't see him, we yet believe. He is working in our hearts. Amen. Let's worship him and praise him.
Peter 1.8 says, Whom having not seen you love, though you see him not yet believing, we rejoice with unspeakable joy. We're singing from that scripture. Let's sing it again. Your light shine. 
the salt of this earth and the light in this world, Father. So we will choose to shine our lights for you, Lord. Amen. Let's continue to praise the Lord. You know, we sing a lot about righteousness. The word righteousness simply means to be right standing with God. You see, when you become a son of God, God gives you a new identity. And that is called righteousness. Before you come to Christ, we see that we are sinners. That's who we are. But when we come to Jesus, He changes our nature. 
and he says now you're no longer a sinner but you are the righteousness of God which means you have a desire to do what is right in the sight of God and even though sometimes you might feel like you've missed the mark you've made a mistake that doesn't mean you're a sinner it just means you need to come back and ask the Lord to forgive you and say father I'm making it right with you but God will never change the way he sees you he'll always sees you as the righteousness of God once you come to him that's your identity forever aren't you glad that you're righteous before God you can stand in his presence right Amen. without any guilt or condemnation so we're going to sing about that and say through this song it's a declaration song where we say I am the righteousness of God my whole life has been crucified with Christ I'm no longer that person but I'm right with God and the righteousness of God let's sing it and rejoice in him of God in Christ I have a nature of God I am a new creation in Christ I'm a believer born again I am the righteousness of God in Christ I have a nature of God I am a new creation in crucified with Christ by faith I died with him I was made alive with Christ when he rose from the dead by faith I'm raised up with Christ now I'm seated with him walking in of life enjoying every day I am the righteousness of God in Christ I have the nature of God I am a new creation in Christ I'm a believer born again I am the righteousness of God in Christ
Lord, for making us the righteousness of God in Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we can stand before you, calling ourselves the identity you have called us, Lord. You've called us new creations. You've called us the righteousness of God. You've called us sons of God. And we choose to call ourselves this, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you might have had an identity that people have called you. Maybe when you were younger, you might have had names that were spoken over you, words that have just gone like a root into your heart and you still cannot forget that. Well, it's time that we uproot those words that have been spoken over us and we begin to say what God calls us. The song that we were singing, was we were singing about our identity. And when God calls you the righteousness of God, that's the person you need, that's the name you need to call yourself. Don't let those words that were spoken over you sit in your heart anymore. Because you see people, they speak words all the time. And many of them don't know the power of a word. How it can go into the heart like a sword. Words can either heal or it can hurt. But as a child of God, you need to let go of that hurt and refuse to hold on to those words that were spoken over you. And maybe right now, you know, there are things that you've held on in your heart. Let's begin to release it. And let's just say this out. Say, Father God, I thank you that your word is healing medicine for my heart. I break the power of all the words, hurt words, cursed-filled words that were spoken over me. And I refuse to let it sit inside of me any longer. Thank you for your word, O oh Lord, that has healed my heart. Thank you for the identity you have given me to be called the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Father. Free from every hurtful word or cursed word that has spoken over us, we are free from it. In Jesus' name, free to worship you, Lord. You are our Alpha and you are Omega. The beginning and the end. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship him. Thank you, Lord. You're the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, Jesus Christ. You're the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, Jesus Christ. We see You 
Restorer of all things, Jesus Christ. You're my wisdom and protection, the keeper of my heart. Restorer of all things, Jesus Christ. the enemy has stolen from you, the Lord can restore. He restored you sevenfold and even more. Now look at what the enemy has stolen from you and live in that. Look at the restorer. Look at Jesus who is our restorer. 
what Adam lost, what he destroyed, what he messed up in, Jesus restored it. And if Jesus could do that to the human race, and he can do it to whatever things that have been stolen in your life, whatever it might be, if it is your health, circumstances, life that has not gone right because the enemy has stolen, maybe your youthful years, you feel like you've lost it. The Lord says he'll renew your strength like the eagles so that you can run and not grow weary. You can walk and not faint. So don't look at the years you've lost. You have a life that is ahead of you. When you run this race of life, say, Lord, I'm looking to you as my restorer. He's a God who restores us. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Thank you for your restoration. We worship you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's say it out. God is our restorer of all things. Hallelujah.